when is the last time I brushed my hair? This isn't even funny. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I have no memory left, okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan, if you're new here. Why do I always say it like that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan, if you're new here. And I just got back from Newport, Rhode Island and Connecticut. How stuff resumes. I have a lot of painting to do this weekend. And our mattress comes tomorrow, I'm really excited. And Matt got a lot done when I wasn't here. So that's what this vlog's gonna be. It's just gonna be like a weekend vlog. But yeah, and then like our mattress, I, like I said, comes. So just lots of house updates and just a regular vlog. That's all. It's like 3.30, I need to go eat. I am leaving for Pilates at five and all I ate today was a bagel. So I really want like some sort of like chicken strip. I think that sounds really good right now. I'm unpacking. The bed is a disaster. I did laundry, but I still have like a ton of stuff to put away. A loud AC unit, but I'm going off to Pilates. Um, I don't know. I just didn't feel like wearing a tank top today. I just wanted to wear like a little t-shirt, um, little biker shorts, and did I show you how blonde my hair got from the sun? It's so bright, like in some spots, like right there, it's really bright. It's crazy. But yeah, going off to Pilates. Good morning. Last time of sleeping on the couch because our bed comes today. I'm so excited. I slept real well, but I slept so well that like, my stomach feels a little weird. I've described this to people before and they don't know what I'm talking about. I guess it's a me thing. But when I sleep really well and really deeply, my stomach feels like funny in the morning, like the muscles, like, I don't know how to explain it. They just feel tender. But anyway, good morning. Okay. okay, the delivery truck is here. I don't see them, but I just vacuumed. This is the last time I'll ever be able to vacuum under here, unless we ever move the bed. But here's the frame, it's from Wayfair, love it. And then we have the adjustable base going in here and the mattress going on top. So I'm really excited. Um, it should fit perfectly, I think, if my measurements are correct. So anyway, the men are here, my battery's flashing. If I don't see you guys before the guys leave, you'll see the bed when it's done. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> mattress protector is in the dryer. It's the first time I've actually washed something in the washer and dryer. We just got the dryer finished hooking up this morning. It's gas, so I was really freaked out that Matt like didn't do it right. The thing about gas that freaks me out. Oh, it's not going right now. But it like makes a fire. Oh, there, you can see it. I don't like it. Does it fit in there good? Oh, yeah. If it's perfect. That's what I thought. All right, why isn't this? Ah! And you thought this was going to be too short. Is yeah. that tall enough for you? Is that tall enough for you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God, it's so tall. Oh, I love it. Do you love it? Yeah, it's awesome. Oh my God, did you lay on it yet? No, not yet. Can I lay on it? I'm How does it feel? <gasps> Whoa, it's so squishy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna go up and down? Oh yeah. That's a nice remote. Oh my god. This is nice. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> How's the motion transfer? <laughs> oh, we're testing it again? <laughs> Alright, you flip, you flip. Flip. It's not bad. <laughs> my turn. Ready? You ready? Wait, I still. What's wrong? Wait, wait, no, no. Wait, let me get up a little higher. I can basically fit on the bed. Oh my god. Ready? Here. I'm like a little cocoon. I have so much room. Watch out, baby. It's overhanging the bottom a little. Oh wow, it literally feels wet, but it's like not. I'll have a headboard set up. Well, there's the pillows. Something I knew before Right now I can't 
far Then came a moving picture Ball in the wall again I'll show you what you're missing It's just around the bend Thank you. 
All right, hi guys. I don't think I've talked to the camera. Matt and I have been like running around yesterday. I don't even know what we were doing yesterday. We went to like Lowe's and we were more, con oh, we were doing like, bathroom stuff. I can tell you what we did. Um, when I was gone in Newport, Matt's mom and Matt were like replacing all of our outlet covers and like all of our light switch covers. And then Matt and I decided to change all the registers so like all the air vent covers so we were like running around like <laughs> buying out all of the freaking outlet covers that they have like at the store i think matt's mom went and bought so many but then matt and i went to lowe's again this morning to like buy more register covers because we were just gonna slowly buy them one at a time or like maybe two or three at a time because they're like 23 dollars each like they're ridiculous but we found a bunch on clearance at our Lowe's today and they were like all on sale for like five or six dollars like i'm not even kidding you we bought so many we bought more than we needed yeah we're like set like i think we had a total of like i think it's like a total of 12. so like 60 to 70 bucks on all of these when normally like 12 times like tw let's just say like 25 ish dollars each like I can't even do that math. It's like $300. So like we saved so much money. I'll show you the bathroom. We switched out like the cabinet knobs in there. Matt actually replaced like the flusher on our toilets so that they're like oil rubbed bronze and not silver. Just like a lot. And then today we spent literally the entire afternoon building my desk. It's like, um, it's, a, it's big. Um, I'm really happy with it, but it is like a lot of work to put all the pieces together. Um, we're starting the third piece now. And I also have a bookshelf that's gonna have to, I have to figure out if it's gonna fit in this corner. Cause originally I wanted to put the bookcase, like I wanted to have the desk like more this way and then have the bookcase just right next to it. But the problem is that I have these outlets and because there's a backing underneath the desk, the outlet was like impossible to get to cause I have the desk all the way against the wall. And there's another one on this side too. So I was like, let's just put the desk between the two outlets, whatever. And then I'm gonna see if the bookcase can like fit like right there. It might work. And then my vanity that I use as my desk at Matt's house, like his parents' house right now, that will go here. And then I have like a cube organizer. It's like a, it's what I built. I built that like last year, like last fall in one of my vlogs. Um, it just like organizes all my stuff that'll go just like right there. And then I might actually get like a floor lamp to put in this corner at some point. But I love the desk. I'm so happy. I got it from Wayfair. I think the brand is like, it's called Bush, I want to say. I don't see it on any of the boxes right now, but it's from Wayfair. Um, I think it's called like the Ketchum Executive Desk. There's like so many different options. You could get like just the desk. You could get just the desk with the hutch. You could get just the desk with the L piece that we're building now, or you could get it like all together. So I got the three piece because it was on sale when I bought it and it was like only $100 more to get this piece here. And I was like, that is so worth it. It's like store all my stuff. It had this like um, veneer piece to go on the back, but I don't really want to put it because I kind of like, like being able to like see the normal wall through it. It kind of keeps it a little bit more open instead of like a stark giant desk, but it looks so good. There are cabinets and then this came with pieces to make it more of a filing cabinet. I didn't set that up yet, but that's so nice. And then there's this cabinet. I need to vacuum that out and I want to get little rubber bumpers for when the, so it doesn't make a loud noise when it closes. Same with these. So they open like that um just store stuff then there's like shelves 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 and then another cabinet there obviously and then the next piece we're building will just go it comes off from the desk here it's not like an extension it'll come off here it'll just be like probably to like about i want to say here and it has an adjustable piece so you can like raise you can make it like a standing desk basically so i'm really excited let me show you all of the like all the outlet covers. I know like they the prob like you probably don't even notice a difference, but like they were like they all look like this before. We have to special order some sort of piece for this. This is like a Ethernet thing. So like they all look like this color, but now they're all this and it looks so good. This is like literally covered in paint from the people that lived here before. Like this is like more paint on the light switch. This is the new register for this room. It looks so good. This one's so heavy. This is also cast iron, but it has like a swirly pattern. Here's all of our trash. We're also missing our handrail right now, so that's great. Oh, and our hardwood's probably gonna get done later this month. So we just have like carpet scraps everywhere. 
so that our feet don't get dirty from walking on the like sub floor because it gets really dusty. Oh, and bed reveal. I mean, obviously you guys saw this yesterday because Matt and I were making the bed. It's crazy because it's not nearly as echoey in here as it used to be. It's still a little echoey, but I'm obsessed. I'm so happy. My measurements all worked out perfectly. There's an adjustable base underneath. We have the remote for the adjustable base. It's plugged in. Um, we had them put the adjustable base as high as it could go so that the mattress, because we're not doing a box spring, obviously. So the, um, we had to get the mattress as high up as we could to get it to cover this gap, which it does pretty well. Um, I ordered some new bedding. These sheets suck. Whatever you do, do not buy these. I really thought they were going to be good, but they're really bad. They're the, um, I think it's a brand's called Milani. They're from Amazon. Everyone said that they were like these amazing cheap sheets. Matt and I used them last night and I was like, this is the worst set of sheets I have ever slept on. They're soft, but like they're bunchy. They don't stay like tucked. They're just awful and they're really thin and we can feel the mattress pad straight through. Just ordered a new set from um, Casa Luna from Target because Target has like a huge bedding sale right now. So it is a little hard to buy bedding for this bed because it's a California King. Um, it's crazy because I feel like it doesn't look that big. I mean, it is big, but Matt and I sleep on a queen right now. And I just don't feel like this is like ginormous. I guess maybe it's because I was just on vacation and I was sleeping in a king when I was on vacation. So like to me, this kind of feels kind of normal. I'm gonna get some really cute bedding. I got some, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch it up from what I'm, I always do. I usually always do dark gray sheets and like a light gray comforter. But I think for this room, because it is a little bit more... I'm keeping it more warmy neutral tones in here, but I think I'm going to keep all of our bedding white and then I'm going to get a new duvet cover that's white, but then I'll do like our shams in the front. I ordered like a natural color. I just want to keep the bed more like warmy, like neutral tones. I don't know. I do want to get new blinds because these blinds, I think they're just really dirty. Like they don't look the best and I think I want to do like the white ones where you can twist it to make them like see-through and then I have these drapes from Amazon I don't know how I'm going to show you they hang on the hook like on the rod by these like loops and they are like a natural linen they match the headboard like pretty perfectly yeah they match the headboard really well so I'm excited they're really cheap from Amazon too. So I think it was like $24 for two. So I need, obviously need to do three sets because we have three windows, um, more outlet covers. Oh, I didn't show you guys this door either. This is like all stuff that got done when I was in here. When I was in Newport. Accordion doors. Quite honestly, like, I'm gonna be honest, I hate it. <laughs> I think it looks cheap. It's like vinyl. But for the most part, it'll just be open anyway, so you don't really even see it. I mean, it doesn't matter all that much. I just don't think it's, it's not light proof and I don't think it's very soundproof. And I think it like, yeah, you like lock it like, well, you don't lock it, you just like shut it. And then it leaves like gaps at the top because it doesn't fit like directly, like perfectly across. It's fine. I think it's more for just like privacy because that window right there overlooks the front of the street you can kind of see directly in here. So, and you just pull it to open it. We did the same thing with our closet, just cause like I was, I didn't want swing doors. I couldn't do it in here. Cause it's so here, here, there's one over there. It was just, it was too much. And with the door opening this way, you, it didn't fit over the rug. And I'm like, we can now put like um, a hand towel bar here. Before when the door was open, it took over this whole wall. And then this one, opened straight into our closet and then it blocked off this whole area so i was like we need to do a, like some sort of space saving door here as well let's see how you can like i mean it's clearly not light proof but it's fine it's not like the worst and i think we're gonna do another one here as well just because when this door opens it takes up this area and i want to i built or i bought a shelf to build right here just for like because we don't have a linen closet in this bathroom so i'm just really trying to maximize all of our space i think i need to paint this white these people just love their wood i don't know oh and i can show you we replaced the toilet flusher 
Um, I think that's everything for in here. Oh, I showed you guys this before, but this is just like the same concept because we don't have a linen closet. We just have this little thing to store our towels. I like roll them up like that. I think, and we're still gonna put, we're gonna put a, um, a rack here for our body towels for when we get out of the shower, but we're not there yet. Oh, here's another thing. <laughs> I bought these while I was in Newport, like online from Home Depot, and they showed up when I wasn't here, so that went ahead and hung them. I am obsessed. I think they look so good. I really didn't want any fixture where the bulb was sideways. I like all of them either being up or down, so on so cute i think they're simple but yet they match the whole theme that we're going for in this house like the darker colors modern but yet not too modern so yeah and I, those are led bulbs too and they look pretty good oh we're also ordering new spindles so like all this is coming down and we're going to do like the cast iron spindles instead of the wood we were originally just gonna paint all of them white but it was just becoming more trouble than it was worth we did it down here and it was just like too much um so we have to i think this is staying white i actually don't know matt painted the dining room i have to go through and like do all of the little pieces up top and like by the floorboards but Overall, it's so much brighter. I mean, you can see how dark. Like, why do they pick, like, dark poop brown? It's beyond me, but it's going to look so good. I have, like, a giant mirror that's going to go here. We have our dining set and everything in the garage ready to go. We probably should get it in the house sooner rather than later because it's very humid out, and I probably shouldn't be sitting in the garage in the heat. So, should get that in. Once this is done, I think we're just going to pull it in and, like, try to clean this up. Oh, here's another. Dude, look how good they look. Oh, we have to fix that. Don't mind that. This wall still needs to get painted. This closet still needs to get painted. Here's Matt's office. I need to finish painting. Like again at the top, you can see the orange peeking through. Because if you guys don't remember, it was bright orange in here. It's the same color as the dining room. He couldn't pick a color and then he just picked one of the ones I already had. So that's that. Um, this is all temporary. He's obviously going to have like a nicer desk here, but... Yeah, I think eventually he wants to do like built-ins back here. He has a big leather recliner chair that he wants. It's like his reading chair that he'll put probably like here. His work desk area is here. And I think he's going to put like a TV on this wall. And yeah, it's really nice in here. Oh, and he's going to order a nice cool light for up there too. So it's going to look so crazy when we're all done. Oh, and here he's going to do glass French doors. Probably right about here where the threshold is. Hold you doors. Oh, and we're also getting hardwood in this. This is fake wood. This is laminate. He's ripping this up and we're getting hardwood in here. It'll be the same as this. And here's the grand reveal. I'm obsessed. We originally weren't gonna like reno this bathroom, but uh, we ripped everything out in order to paint. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. Like, I don't wanna, if we wanna change it anyway, let's change it now. So these had um, like silver knobs we switched these out last night to oil rubbed bronze this is our faucet i'm obsessed i think it's so cool i don't think it's too practical but for a powder room i think it's kind of a cool like feature it's just like a little waterfall oh and then if you want to like plug it you just do that it's really cool we still need to get a mirror for here i do have a circle mirror that might i think it'll work in here i think it'll look cool we'll see if matt wants to hang it and i do have a fixture for that we also have to just install that. And then Matt's mom ordered a special plate cover for this because this was like a special um, setup. Matt installed this toilet last week. It's a new toilet. So the one they had before, it smelled. It honestly smelled so bad and it was so stained I couldn't get it out. So we got a new toilet instead. <laughs> and then he did the flusher on that toe. So this is coming together. Oh, and it's like a green. I do like a greenish. Uh, this is called Sea Salt from Sherwin-Williams. I love it. Um, nothing is different in here. Um, we're still waiting on the third piece of our couch. Oh, they ordered it. It's ordered. It's being made. It's not supposed to come until September now. It doesn't end. It's such a mess in here. The state of this area <laughs> makes me want to cry. We'll get there. We also don't have doors. If you haven't been able to tell all of our doors are currently missing and that is because they are 
out here. Also ignore our messy garage. So Matt's mom and sister took all of our doors off and they repainted them. I wish I could show you what they looked like before, but I don't have any doors left that are not painted. And then they also put the heel rubbed bronze doorknobs, face plates, and they also did, um, here, where are they over here? There, you can really see them now. <laughs> they also did black hinges. So now they look freaking amazing. Our house is gonna look a new build when we're done because we're doing so many modern upgrades. It's really gonna look so good. I'm so happy. I have to finish painting some of the door jams. Now that there's no door there, I can get to certain spots, but then we'll put all these back up, like ASAP. My battery is flashing because I've been vlogging for like 20 minutes. All right, everything is so messy. Matt's neighbors at home are moving to Florida. So they gave us everything in their garage. Literally like pretty much everything. No blowers, shovels, rakes, like, like pretty much anything you can think of we're getting from them. So I'm gonna go paint now and I'll update you guys when I'm done painting. Here's our old registers. That one's not that bad, but like, I mean, first of all, they're dirty, but like, Look at that. First of all, they're just the ugly ones and they were disgusting. And then even if they didn't have the ugly ones, they had silver, which just doesn't match the house. So we just replaced them all. And then here's the, this is the light fixture for the bathroom. The bulbs go in there obviously. And then they're not attached right now, but like these go on the outside of the light bulb. So it looks like that. They're really cute. Also just need a little soda. I stole my parents' soda stream. So I made root beer. So I just made this bottle and I just put it in the fridge. I think it's cool. I mean, it's saving plastic by not buying a bunch of plastic bottles. I just bought a pack of syrups on Amazon. So I got like the Sprite one, Coke, Dr. Pepper, and root beer. Good morning, happy Sunday. I feel like the least amount of motivation right now. I have the worst cramps and I went to bed at two in the morning. Matt and I both did and I'm exhausted because we've like, we were just working all day yesterday. We were just working all day again today. This, well, Matt's at the store right now. He went and picked up a light fixture for his office and he's getting some other stuff. Oh, he went and got all this stuff for the stairs at Lowe's. So I can show you guys that. But this is my project right now is trying to clean up this dining room because this is where we threw everything and i need to finish painting around the ceiling and then matt and i are gonna bring in the table and chairs because i don't i don't think it's okay for them to be sitting outside in the hot garage like i don't think that's good for the wood so we're gonna bring that inside but i just like don't know what half of this is well i have to bring that up to my office and like there's a vacuum cleaner but other than that like i don't there's like so much painting materials and i don't know what to do with it or put it and I have to take those extra the curtains that they had I'm getting a battery died but this is just it's just chaos like I took those curtains down I don't know what to do with them I don't want them but I don't want to throw them away because I feel bad so I, I don't know like do you bring that stuff to like donation centers like can I bring the rod and the curtains and bring them to like I don't know there's like a local place that's similar to like Salvation Army or like Goodwill like is that what you're supposed to do with this stuff like I don't know I don't even want to like look at all this there's just stuff everywhere they left all this in the dishwasher, but like, I don't want it, but like, it's like good condition. So like, do I bring this to like donate? And with all the light fixtures we're taking down, like, what do we do with that kind of stuff? Matt's mom said we can donate it to like Habitat for Humanity, but I'm like, how do you do that? Like, where is that? But okay, I need to get back to cleaning. I just, there's just so much, so much. And then when Matt gets here, he's going to want to hang his light fixture. I need to wash my hair. I haven't washed it since last Tuesday. It's currently Sunday. And um, I need to finish painting around here. But it's so much brighter in here. Like, it looks so good. Yeah, it looks so good. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Babe, aren't those heavy? Four balls. Oh my god. Holy cow. Is there, this cardboard's gonna go away from So much chaos. Okay. Alright, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll have a 
anything. There's so many. Yeah. Oh. I count them. They're all there. <laughs> Where do you want this? Here. For <laughs> Sunshine and rainbows. I've been feeling good, yeah, you know that it's true. You say that you love me, baby, what you trying to do? We can see the world every day, me and you. Sunshine and rainbows. I've been feeling good, yeah, you know that it's true. You say that you love me, baby, what you trying to do? Every day is sunshine. In rainbows, I've been looking good, trying to hit the mangoes. Take a trip out to the beach, just see where the day goes. Put a smile on my face, yeah, I feel it. Lost in the sauce, like I made a couple millions. Broke with an attitude, girl, you acting basic. If I told you that I love you, then you need not just a trip. Different than your average, I'm not here to hit and quit. You a queen if you hang around. Real love, let a youngin' come and hold you down. If I make it, then the team wins, that's including you. Work so hard, I'm graduating honors in the booth. They can't touch me cause they never see it through. Sunshine and rainbows. I've been feeling good, yeah, you know that it's true. You said that you love me, baby, what you trying to do? We can see the world every day, me and you. Sunshine and rainbows. I've been feeling good, yeah, you know that it's true. You said that you love me, baby, what you trying to do? Yeah.